So this is Remember Remember, it's a game by Michaela Laws, and we're gonna see what it involves. You might have remembered this um, game developer from other games like Seduce Me, uh, Seduce Me 2, and there's some other games too, which we played over the years. But this one sounds pretty much different from the others I've played from this developer, so let's see how it goes. Let's begin. Ah. Of course, this is a work of fiction, which I would I would hope, given that's a psychological horror. That'd be pretty depressing if this was true. Okay. And wow. Ah. So this oh my god. I don't this like is gonna it. be some heavy stuff. But I mean it's nothing compared to what we've already played with uh Persona 5. That's not some pretty serious stuff too already. Okay. Well Chris, you've been warned. Chris Oh, there's voice acting. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I think they do have voice actings for most of these games. Don't go out too far, you two. I won't. <laughs> Watch over her, Chris. You know what's going to happen. Uh-oh. Chris is not going to watch over his child sister. She's going to get kidnapped and it's going to haunt him for the rest oh, of his life. I thought she was drowning. They said don't go out too far, but I guess it will be kidnapping. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I know. It could be either one. Come mm. on, let's go. Hey, wait up. Imagine trafficking. Oh, what the hell? Okay. That was a flashback. Makes sense. We're not going to know. Oh, it's going to be something we learn over time. What happened to his little uh, sister? Where am I? It looks Good like we're in a question. padded cell. Almost like we're in a mental institution or something. <laughs> what the? Where am I? What's going on? Although I guess he doesn't recall being here. So that's probably not a good sign. Maybe he wakes up every day like this. And why does it smell like bleach in here? Uh, probably not for a good reason. Was I supposed to be on my way to the graduation venue? Wait, that's right. <gasps> nope. My car's not going anywhere. We're stranded. Nice job on leaving the tank empty, dude. <laughs> now how are we gonna get there? Oh my god, yes. Something's wrong. I know I filled it up yesterday. I have the receipt and everything. The receipt was forged. Did you do anything else yesterday? Or maybe the gas attendant was actually really evil. And one is run out of gas. Could be. The gas attendant is the mastermind. I'm going to call it now. Mystery solved. And it probably won't be anything remotely close to the truth. No! I gassed it up before I went home. Guys, we can just walk there. It's not like it's raining. That's a 30-minute walk. We'd be late. It's better than not being there at all. It's not like we have a choice in the matter. Well, spoilers, it looks like we didn't make it. Instead, we're in some padded room. Yeah, let's just probably isn't a good speed sign. walk or something. Speedwalk? Speedwalk, yeah, sure. Oh, gee. Huh? What the hell is this? Hey, you guys need a lift to the venue? I'm on my way there. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Kids, get in my van. I don't think we want to get in the creepy van where the license plate is blurred out. Just saying. Oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> no, Lisa, no. You are a lifesaver. No, Rosa, no. Huh? Who are you? Kids job, are so Peter. naive. Meanwhile, the van's really being driven by Scooby-Doo. Chem Major. Don't even worry about it. Come on. Y your name is Chem Major? That doesn't... That's how you introduce yourself. Oh, I'm Chem Major. <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, well, now I instantly trust you. You're a Chem Major. We all know Chem Major is the most trustworthy of majors. I always hated chemistry. I don't know. Yeah, Peter, you tell him. Oh, come on. I got room, I promise. Hop in. He sounds like a very trustworthy guy. Listen to that. He does not. Listen to that voice. I would instantly trust you that voice. You can walk if you want. I'm getting in the van. Damn. Me too. Wait up. Well, it's better than being late. The only way this could have gotten more suspicious is he was like, oh, I also have candy here with yes, me too. And, a puppy. and there's a puppy. Look, <laughs> don't you want to hold this cute puppy, kids? Chris, you coming? Uh, peer pressure. Peer pressure. Yeah, I guess we went in. That guy. True, all of us, but... Then why am I here? Well, obviously, he wasn't trustworthy after all. We all knew it. Damn it. Ah, oh, shit. What about all the others? Rosa! Lisa! Peter! <laughs> Xavier! Wow. Let's <laughs> throw enunciation all those names. I gotta find them all. Okay, I tr randomly turned into Pokemon for some reason. I don't know why, but I did. Wait, he's able huge. to just walk out? I guess we weren't locked in after all. For some reason, this room reminds me of one of the rooms in the GoldenEye game. You know what? I think there is a room like this in GoldenEye, isn't there? With like a bunch of TV screens. Yeah, and then in the back, there's like all of those like... Yeah, yeah. 
Exactly. Yeah, it's like got a golden eye. <laughs> and there were all these doors, and there's a bomb. Yeah, man. Yeah, that wasn't good. That wasn't a good level at all. That was bad. <laughs> Is this some kind of a medical facility? Everything looks clean and sterile. What kind of a person owns this place? A Bond villain, obviously. This is all sorts of messed up. Obviously, it's Jigsaw. Oh, or him. Or Monokuma. Or someone like that. Now, I would not call that a giant TV. I would say that's multiple TVs. Yeah. What's with this giant TV? There was another giant TV that's curved. I don't like yeah. curved TVs. I'm just proof of that. Huh. An elevated console. Looks like it's on. What is this? A game? It's like a kid's drawing or something. Oh, what? what's this? Funny. Okay, the here we go. Yeah, I did see a little bit Watch of the preview out. that there's like some you. gameplay. So I don't know how this works exactly yet. Is this? Yeah, my thoughts exactly, Chris. What is All right, so it's the typical movement. Let's see. Uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's like a shield. The monster's going to eat you and your friends. That's so really? scary. Really? All right, so oh. it is like a shield. Okay. I guess I have to take these friends. flowers to the toys? I guess so, as silly as it sounds. Hurry. To go back. You can only see a little bit at a time. <gasps> what the hell is that He's going to get the green one. Oh, no. I'll go to this one first. The green one's going to die. I wonder if this really kills our friends by, like, not going there quick enough. Where is it? It's that way. Okay. okay, that was that was pretty simple. It's probably gonna get harder as it goes on. Brother, where are you? I'm still doing this. I guess we're looking for now. What's that? Probably nothing good. The exit? It's gonna be another monster. Uh oh. What's that sound? Why does this bother me so much? Um Well. Yeah, that was <laughs> extremely weird. I'm not sure what to say about that. I just have a very bad feeling about what happened to his sister. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be good. What kind of game was that? Why is he even here? Ah, fuck it. This whole situation makes no damn sense. Gotta stay focused. Gotta find the others. Huh. There are more rooms along the walls. And the rest of them? In the other rooms? It's kind of like a Five Nights at Freddy's minigame. I guess a little bit. I never really played those games, so I don't know. But I do know it involves monsters, so I guess that might be true. Well, might as well pick up... Pick one to check. Okay. We're going to see who's in which room. Hmm. There are butterflies to signify. I can see the outlines a little bit, so... That's a girl. It's probably a guy. Probably a guy and probably a There's girl. There's a girl, too. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. What do you think? Which outline is the most attractive to you? The top one on the right. Okay, the top one on the right. Let's see. Look at that outline. Can't go to any of these other places, right? Just checking. Okay, let's see what happens. Hmm. This room looks just like my... Holy shit. It's Lisa! Lisa! <laughs> <laughs> Have you been drugged? Lisa! Come on! She looks like she's about Wake to sing. Up. Like checking her pitch. <laughs> Maybe that too. Huh? Chris? Where am I? Hey, are you alright? I think so. Ugh. My head hurts. Shit. Sorry. Were we too loud for you? My bad. Mm -hmm. I think we have worse problems on our hands than that, it's though. It's fine. It's not your fault. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Well, that's good. Hmm. Thank God Lisa's okay. Let's hope the others are too. I would assume so. They're not gonna kill them all in the beginning, are they? Nah, they're gonna make us suffer. You know that's how they are. Mm -hmm. Let me help you stand. Thank you. Chris, where are we? It's no fun unless you can get everyone to start killing each other. That's where all the fun comes from, of course. I don't know. I just woke up in a room across the way. Across the way? Yeah. There's a massive room outside the door, and there are doors along this wall and the wall across from it. It's like we're in a bunker or something. Yeah, I think that's the name of the Love and Golden Eye. Yeah. It was Bunker. That's just freaky. Hmm. She's telling me. Anyway, where are the others? Where's Xavier? 
I don't know that either. I just woke up a bit ago. Well, at least we know in this situation there is some kind of third party involved. Like, it's not necessarily going to be one of us. Although it could be. Mm-hmm. They could have arranged for this to happen. But we do know there's that creepy van man. Right. And chem he's, major. He's at least chem major s- responsible for all this, of course. Well, then come on. We have to find them. Hey, Lisa, hold on. You just got up. Hmm. The sooner we find them, the better. Yeah! What? <laughs> <laughs> all right, maybe never what? mind. Maybe they are killing them all after is all. Is he a Dragon Ball Z <laughs> character? <laughs> you just went super sane to break out of his Let's prison. Go. Let's go see him. Oh my god, what? What? Uh, what is he doing? Oh my god, indeed. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know what's going on with Xavier. What happened? He, oh. I don't oh. know. We just came in here. Lisa! Chris! You're both okay! Yep. Yeah, we're fine. What happened? Please explain. We don't know. We just woke up. And that's how he woke up? Okay. No, I just want this damn thing off. What thing? Do they have like a shock collar on them or something that we can't see? What thing? Yeah. This thing. Oh. This thing. On their hands. Okay. Why is one of them gold? Yeah, it looks different, right? Is that ours? Yeah, we're wearing the blue shirt, right? I don't know. I don't remember. I already forgot. I think that's us. Because, yeah, we're wearing the bl- blue shirt, I think. So we're special. We're being singled out somehow. Maybe to either look us look suspicious to the others, or maybe it's because of something else. Hmm. Our choices have already killed someone. I think he's still okay for now. Just slightly executed. All of us have it. They all look like they've been welded onto us. But I had the only gold bracelet. I have that same bracelet. What is it? Whatever it is, I slammed it into the wall and it friggin' shocked the hell out of me. <laughs> it feels like it was welded on our wrists. It feels like it's made of steel. It wouldn't break if you hit it against anything, you idiot. Why did you even try to break it? Well, I don't think you would have assumed it would electrocute him. I mean... Yeah. That wouldn't be my first assumption. For something a bracelet would do to me. Oh. It won't come off. Come on. Why You're would you just gonna get zapped too. I don't mess with it too much. It might shock you too. Yeah, right. Ugh, this is bullshit. Why are we here? It's bullshit, man. How the hell should we know? We were all drugged. Guys, now is not the time to go crazy. We need <laughs> to put our heads together and figure out what's going on. Ah, uh, Peter, truly the voice of reason in all this. Either that or he's the one that's responsible. Hmm. The girls seem really shaken by this. I don't blame them. Xavier just got electrocuted, but Peter is right. Huh. Well, I can do a number of things. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. One girl does look relatively angry. The other one does look mildly concerned. She's still ready to sing. She's still ready to sing. She's still checking. You can check on Xavier, but he looks fine now. Just slightly pissed off. He looks slightly pink. But maybe it's just because his hair and shirt and everything is red. But, like, doesn't his skin look, like, a little too pink? He needs to be electrocuted. <laughs> maybe he's just I don't know. pink skin. Should we support Peter in his goal of trying to be calm and maintain the calm around here? Or should we just talk to the girls? I don't like Peter because of his small vest. So maybe we'll talk to the girls? Sure. Is that what you're down for? Whatever. Okay. Small vest. <laughs> Look at it. Undersized. It's so all out before we drive ourselves crazy. Let's just calm down. I can't calm down. I'm scared. Oh. All right. That he never knows. works. It never works to say calm down if someone that's freaking out. It's like the golden rule. No, you are. But if we calm down, then we can think of a way out. This is right, Rosa. Just take a couple of breaths. Oh, okay. She's maintained her cool, at least. The less panicked we are, the more likely we'll find some sort of way out. Breathe. Okay. <laughs> okay. Popular with the ladies like always, Chris. Shut Peter, up, Chris. shut up. Shut up, Pete. Yeah. Yeah, everyone, shut up, Pete. <laughs> no one asked you, Pete. So, any ideas I'm picturing him as Sean looking? Astin for some reason. <laughs> he could be, yeah. That's a stupid question. Yeah, Pete. Stupid question, Pete. Shut up, Pete. What do you mean? Poor Pete. 
It's kind of obvious how we get out. Look over there. Is there like a giant sign saying, kill everyone? <laughs> oh. Jesus, that door's big. That's the biggest door in the room. That has to be the exit. I, I mean... I wouldn't say you can't be right, but that's some weird logic. Just because it's the biggest door, it'd be easy to trick you then. Then let's just go! It's a giant door that leads out to space. You're gonna get space if you go through that door, man. Rosa, look again. Oh crap, a laser grid. I barely noticed it. Huh. If we're very athletic, maybe we could slip through. But I highly doubt it's that big. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to lose a few pounds. Is a scary laser grid. Are there any good laser grids? Don't tell me that grid shocks us or something if we touch it. Let's Probably worse out. than that. Probably if it's meant to keep us in here. Peter, go touch it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? Fuck you! <laughs> Xavier! Never know what it does until you try it out. That's a good point. That's not funny! It's too dangerous to try! Be a funny twist if after all it does nothing at all. It's just for a show. That could so be. So how do we unlock it and make the grid disappear? There are no visible keyholes and no card slots. We are trapped in here while the locks are either on the other side or are unlocked electronically. Hmm. In other words, we're stuck here and we're back to square one. Why well, the feeling that it's gonna be something really more? But like you have to kill people to open up the doors and unlock the laser grid and that kind of stuff. This is way too fucked up. <laughs> Agreed, Peter. This is garbage! Who would do this to us? <laughs> Such garbage, dude. Garbage. The guy who kidnapped us. Yeah, Chem, Chem Major. Major. This is why you never trust Chem Majors. I knew it. You don't mean that guy who offered us a ride, do you? Yeah, Chem Major. It's interesting, a lot of people in chat are saying this is kind of like the 999 games. And that's something that people didn't ask us to play as well. I think I mentioned it maybe to you once or twice. So that's gonna be cool. Major check out that game too. Eventually down the line. Please don't riot. Yeah, don't riot though. Who else could have done it? He had the perfect opportunity. Chem majors always have the perfect opportunity. He looked like us. He looked like he came he from our like school. Us? What does that mean? He looked like us. I don't know. He actually looked like chem major to me, but actually we didn't get to see him. As much as I want to agree, anyone could have bought our school logo <laughs> merchandise and pretend to be a student. God damn her school for selling out. Wait! Do you think he had something to do with my car being out of gas? Oh, it was yours? I should have known. Oh, of course Peter. it was Peter's car that was out of gas. Yes, he's probably also the chem attendant that was also the gas attendant. And yeah, I don't know what a chem attendant is. I just made that up, so now it's a thing. You know what? He probably did if we were his targets. Oh, hey, Michaela, how's it going? Yes, for those of you that... I, I think I mentioned at the beginning, Michaela's the one that created this game. So yeah, it's pretty it's doing pretty well on stream. So uh yes, thank you for the key, by the way. I'm quite enjoying this intro. It's pretty crazy. I still don't understand. Why us? We'll Why find us? out. I mean Rosa, we'll find out in time. I'm sure it's gonna have something to do with our past. It's gonna have to do with our sister, probably. Or that vest. Hmm. I'm trying to think. What else could it be <laughs> about the vest? He didn't like his vest, that's what it's about. Maybe he doesn't like our fashion choices. He thinks they're all very questionable. Mm. Yeah, if this guy wanted to kidnap someone, it would be much harder to get a group all at once. Why all of us? Well, we were all gullible at the same time. Except our character, apparently. Because he's some freak of nature. It doesn't matter why, okay? All that matters is that we're stuck here and we need to get out! Hmm. We can't, though. That door seems to be our only way out and it's apparently locked from the other side. That can't be true. Let's split up and try to find another way out. Ooh, splitting up. That's always gonna end oh, well. They have never seen a horror movie before. <laughs> you know, this is where the fun begins. Be right. Let's just try and find another way out and see what happens. I still think that the door is our only way out. Hmm. Why well, am I getting shades of the uh Funhouse and Danganronpa. Uh -oh. It's the obvious way out, but it's gonna be- it's too obvious. We can't be sure until we check. Mm. Alright, yeah. let's just spread out and see what we can find. Who do we get to partner with? Probably a, ch a choice, right? This entire place gives me the creeps. Like, this is built specifically for us. It's someone that knows us. We didn't know the chem major, so that means he's working at someone else. Mm. It could be someone in the group. 
Or maybe the sister was alive all this time. She's been planning her revenge on us. That'd be crazy. Oh my god, it's like that episode of Sherlock. Yeah, yeah, with his crazy sister. Yeah. Maybe, who knows? Or it's the guest attendant. All right, here we go. We get to select rooms again. Hmm. So now we... Okay, it shows us the uh, actual characters. We're definitely not going there, Peter. <laughs> no, you're not going with Peter again? Well, he's not even exploring anything anyway. Checking out the screens. We already did that. Peter. So with her the first time, I wonder if, because I don't know too much about this game, I wonder if it's going to be kind of route based as well, where if you spend more time with one character, it's going to be kind of an ending with that character more than anyone else. Mm -hmm. So what do you think, personally? Should we um, stick with the girl we originally went, originally went with, or should we I guess so, because that's like the only new up? place. We've been all the other It places. is a new room, and it does look suspicious out of all these. Like, yeah, let's go just there. the area we've been in. A kitchen in a place like this? What the? Hmm. My thoughts exactly. Why would there be a kitchen here? So we can eat, obviously. Because <laughs> the zoning codes require a kitchen in every household. <laughs> That's in why. every bunker. In too. Yes. Electric stove, counters, fancy sink. Even evil masterminds have to play town zoning laws. That's how it works. <laughs> like everything was set up for us. Look, even the fridge is stocked. Yay! Food. But what kind of food is it? Water? Pudding. Frozen food? Pudding? I hope okay. there's banana pudding. Sounds decent. Even the cabinets have canned food. There's food in here for weeks. Yay, we won't starve. <laughs> Great, they intend for us to spend weeks in here. Hell. Oh. Whoever this sick freak is, they are really messed up in the head. They gave us pudding. Only a sick freak would think about pudding. You got that right. <laughs> I guess that's me. Why kidnap us and stick us in a place like this? The kitchen is too white. Yeah, all this place is way too white. It's like they want to make her eyes bug out from all this whiteness. <laughs> Who gives a crap why? They don't care about us. All we have to do is get out somehow. Hmm. We have to think this through a little bit. It's not going to be that simple. We're too focused on getting out. We're going to overlook something. We're going to lose our friends somehow. That's oh, what I no. think. Peter dies You're gonna first. fall into a trap. We need to think about things carefully. You have to be cautious. Ugh, whatever. Well, I didn't see any exits in there. Did you? We didn't look very closely, but no. No, not really. I guess she wasn't too impressed with their answer. Hopefully it doesn't lead to a bad end. Oh nope. no, already doomed. <laughs> uh, guys? Peter, what did you do? It's time for the Daily Monokuma announcement. You know, good morning. Make sure you have a wonderful day, or whatever it is. Huh? What is it? I thought it was going to be the intro song, because it got quiet. It could be that, too. Look. Whoa. The TV's on, but what is that? It's someone's persona mask. Good morning, little insects. Insects? Insects? What the hell? Did, Did you enjoy your ride? Your comfy beds. Oh, I truly hope so. Chem Major. This can only be the work of Chem Major. Whoever you are, let us out! Hmm. Oh, I can't do that. Not yet, at least. What does this guy have planned Not for yet. us? What do you mean? It's gonna make us do some crazy stuff. Mine That's what it means. so many questions, and you haven't answered any of mine. How rude. Why the hell me? should we answer you? You trapped us in here! For good reason. However, there is no excuse for bad manners. So, did you all enjoy your ride here? <laughs> Can Major? Yeah, sure. It was the best ride of my life. I wonder, all these characters are going to have some dark secret, aren't they? It's not just going to be us. It's going to be the other ones as well, I bet. Oh, we actually have to respond. Oh, crap. Um, I mean... I don't recall it at all, other than Chem Major. Right. We don't know if we did or not. Let's say we didn't. We'll be rebellious, I guess. Okay. It may not lead to anything good happening, but I don't think playing along is going to do us any good. Ah, see? At least one of you has manners. I apologize, however, that you didn't enjoy your trip here. Oh. Chris, why would you even answer this lunatic? I don't know, it seems fun. So straightforward. 
Though I expected nothing less from the monarch butterfly. Are we all butterflies? Yeah, there's a weird butterfly theme. I wonder what that's about. Monarch butterfly? Kind of reminds me of, um, what's that other game called the butterflies? You don't remember. No, is there okay. a game with butterflies? There's some game, it's like a very story based game and it had some butterfly theme to it. Forget what it was. Uh, I don't remember. Nah, whatever. Now we have pet names? Of course. All of you have Yeah, they didn't even have any candy in the van, nor did they have a puppy. So, yes, it wasn't a very fun van ride. All False right. advertising. It's terrible. If you're gonna kidnap someone, at least do it right. That is messed up. That tells us one thing, though. What are you talking about? The street kidnapper knows us personally. If we all have pet names that match us, then they have to know us and target us specifically. Yeah, that makes sense. So this wasn't a convenient group kidnapping. I mean, it was still pretty convenient. If you seriously thought this whole thing was convenience, I would <laughs> bitch slap you. Damn. Oh, Life is Strange. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's the game that had like all the butterflies in it. Oh, yeah. I remember. Yes. That's true. Good job, Kizu556. But why Thank us, you. though? Because, Peter, you suck. <laughs> Peter, 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 Peter. That's for a good reason. Yeah, I like Peter from the Brady Bunch. He's always like the middle, uh... Ew. The middle kid. I forgot That he everyone hated. Oh my god, yes. Ew. There is no good reason for kidnapping people! Well, true, but for someone that doesn't have morals, I don't think they really care. Are you sure? There are many benefits to kidnapping someone. Like what? Opportunity. Oh, of course. Opportunity? Yes, this is the perfect chance for the truth to be revealed. Man, I don't like the sound of this. Truth? What truth? What could Peter's evil past be? What would you guess? Hmm. Fashion. I don't know, he like stole candy from a store once. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say this. A couple of you have been oh, only very, a couple. very naughty and don't deserve to be alive right now. Really? Okay. Okay. What the hell? Don't deserve to be alive? Oh, was that too scary of me? I'm such a silly bird. <laughs> and now he's calling himself a bird. This is nuts. I don't know if that was the craziest part of all, Peter. If you know the truth, <laughs> that's, then the, that's the part that worried you about this. <laughs> Peter's like, I wanted to be a bird. <laughs> the rest of this was completely normal, but then he mentioned a bird. Where's the fun in just giving out answers? <laughs> just take Peter and let us go. <laughs> yes. Yes. If we can sacrifice Peter, do we get to leave? Maybe. <laughs> How does locking us in here get people to confess? There are five of you. With everyone in such close proximity, it would be very hard to hide secrets. Like the truth of the past. I don't know. Some people are pretty good at hiding their secrets in Danganronpa, even though we're all living together. Mm-hmm. I mean, granted, Monokuma did force it out of us after a while. All right. If anyone's got anything to confess, spit it out. Yeah, Peter. That's definitely going to work. Reminds me of uh, Taka. Really, Peter? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the, the like summation of the whole chat. Is it really, <laughs> Peter? Peter, no. Just stop it. Oh, Peter. <laughs> it's only that simple. Of course, I've already taken into consideration I love this. that the truth would remain persistently hidden. Despite yeah, Peter was the one they wanted to sacrifice the lasers, too. After yeah. all, the truth is so terrible. The ones who know it would never want it to be revealed. Hmm, I have a bad feeling we're going to be one of those people, though. Our character. Probably. Like, the whole thing with the sister. You're making no sense. Do you want us to find out the truth or not? Oh, I do. I very much want you all to know the truth. That's why I've taken some extra measures. Wow, thanks for that jar uh, dark confession, Joseph. You once peed in a bottle? You freaking madman. Extra measures? Allow me to ask you this. How did you all become friends? I don't know. Through terrible deeds, of course, and mischief. I don't know. I would, I would assume through school. That's right? easy. We. Wait, we don't remember, do we? Oh, no. He took our memories. How did we become friends? This asshole. Standard mastermind procedure, though. I can't remember. Oh, no. Hey, Team Master Sen. Glad to see you were uh, excited for this. 
And I see you made it to the stream too. Huh? How could we forget? Why can't we remember how we became friends? <laughs> Why well, do we get a feeling that someone just took his parking space one too many times? I mean, that would drive someone crazy after a while. Peter did it. It's perfectly. It's all Peter's fault. He's so oblivious. He kept parking in the space over and over again. It wasn't his. Uh, Peter, Peter, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been so curious what altered propanolol can do to the human mind. Propanolol? What is that? Propanolol? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's something that races your mind, I guess. That's the uh, gist of it. What did you do to us? Nothing terrible. This I always happens to us. Why do we never remember how we get places? <laughs> you can't remember anything past the abduction, can you? Well, we became friends before the abduction, so... Hmm. I Wait, guess you should remember that abduction? general detail. Propanolol. You made a beta blocker sedative for drug-induced amnesia. Confirmed chem major Rosa. Oh, <laughs> wait a second. Yeah, she has knowledge of chemistry. I wonder if that's going to be suspicious later on. Very good, Rosa. As expected oh, okay. from a medical okay. student. Maybe it's just that. I'm surprised you know all of that, despite the medication. <laughs> Why would you do that? So many questions. Can't everything be solved on your own? After all, Xavier, you are supposedly the smart one. He is? Hmm. You know, that's something we should look out for, too. Someone that maybe didn't lose their memories, but is claiming to have lost them. Because that was a thing in uh, Soul Set as well. Yes. Oh. We have to look out for all these things. We're becoming experienced. I will break this TV! Yeah, he doesn't seem like the smart one. He seems like the hot-blooded one. Xavier, it seems like there's plenty of TVs from the user. I wouldn't suggest doing that. Unless, of course, you're a masochist for electricity. Might Maybe be. he is. We already saw him doing the electric dance once before. Yeah. Ah! I guess he is. That was loud Sing in my ear. That was very loud, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this so much. The squirming. Yeah, we noticed. The anger. Oh, it brings back so We gonna find out the truth if you blocked it from us. Oh, Peter. Oh, oh don't God. panic so quickly. The effects are temporary if left unchecked. How long do they last then? Well, from the dosages I gave everyone, I would say a week, maybe two. That's why I have so many supplies. So we have to stay here until we remember. It's not gonna be that easy. Think of it like a treasure hunt. No way, I don't believe it. All of you get to work together in unlocking the chests of your memories. And all of you will find out the truth. Hmm. Make sure you all work hard to find that truth. You'll be stuck here until you do. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, we know we're stuck. This person, who are they? Well, I should be specific. Make sure you work hard to find the truth. Chris. Oh, he's targeting us. Great, now we look even more suspicious. What? Mm -hmm. Me? You are very special, Chris. That's why we're gold. I cannot <laughs> wait until the truth is revealed. What will you do, I wonder? I have no idea what we're gonna do. You're insane. Seems like it's gonna be about his sister, but... <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, he is insane. Listen to that. 